Hello, I'm Brett Batterson, the Executive Director of the Auditorium Theater of Roosevelt University, and welcome to our series, Beyond the Gold Curtain. The Auditorium Theater is a National Historic Landmark built in 1889 and located in Chicago's South Loop. The Beyond the Gold Curtain series will focus on interesting and unique aspects of the Auditorium Theater. We'll show you the fly rail, the pin rail, the grid. We'll take you above the ceiling. We'll show you how the light bulbs are changed all in a series of videos that will be available on the web. We're standing on stage at the Historic Auditorium Theater here in Chicago, um, and if you look behind me, you'll notice there's some equipment on stage. That's the equipment for Willow Chicago, a church service that's held here at the auditorium every Sunday morning. The Auditorium Theater is the only theater in the loop of Chicago that does a little bit of everything. We're known for our dance. We're proud to be the home of the Joffrey Ballet, we also have Broadway, rock shows, and like I mentioned, every Sunday morning we have church. There are four directions on stage. There's downstage, upstage, stage right, and stage left. And those are all in line with the actor, not with the audience. We're standing on the stage looking diagonally from downstage left to upstage right. If you look behind me, I don't know if you can see it, you'll see the loading dock door. That's where all of the scenery and all of the lighting and all the equipment used on stage at the Auditorium Theater comes in the building. That leads out to an alley that comes off of Michigan Avenue. And you can see that that door is only about 10 feet wide. So everything comes in and has to fit on a semi-truck and fit through that door before it's put together on the stage by our stagehands and becomes the big scenery that you see in a production. So it's a fully trapped stage. In four by eight sections, you can take out pieces of the floor and create an elevator scenario where you can come up from the depths of hell if you're doing a production of Faustus or something. The original stage at the auditorium was slightly raked. Over time, they had flattened that out by raising the downstage edge. So in the renovation in 2003, they lowered it back to the original level, but it is now a flat floor stage. We are standing in the upstage left corner of the theater. We're looking at um, a storage area where we store ladders and electrical equipment and pipes um, and other uh, stage equipment down below. And up above is a steel platform that was constructed to store the equipment of Willow Church. And it actually gets up there by a motor and trolley system, which is above my head. I'm now standing with the Grand Drape, or the Gold Drape, as this series is known, um, where it is operated from. I'm standing stage left on a very small platform about 15 feet off the stage. The Grand Drape is operated from this side largely because of uh, the large weight that's required. It's a two-person pole and uh, the amount of rigging we already have stage right. 